All right, we're gonna need this one, this one, this one, and this one. So when I woke up this morning, I was very pleased to know it was not raining. The weather's halfway decent. We got some blue sky going on. I was like, you know what? All of the cars need to be outside today. All the Volkswagens just enjoying the nice day. Over here, we have the Turkish Green 1994 Volkswagen Golf Savoy, AKA Demon Car. We have Miley over there, my 1997 Volkswagen Jetta GLS, which is a VR6 swap car now. Tony's Mark 6 GLI, and then the amazing daily Mark 4 Bora Wagon. Love that car. So for anyone who is new to the channel, Miley and the GLI are both US spec cars. Miley from Florida, the GLI is from, I'm not quite sure where I can ask Tony if he knows. The Bora over there and also the Savoy right here are both the German spec cars, both from the same junkyard. The only car missing right now is my wife's Mark IV R32. It's a UK spec car, so it's right hand drive and it's a four door R32, so it's super, super cool. She'll be home in about an hour or so, but I wanna see her reaction when she pulls in the driveway and just sees <laughs> all the cars sitting outside. It's pretty cool though. We have the uh, the American spec cars over there. We have the German spec car here and here. We'll have the UK spec car in just a little while. So my goal for today is to fix this over here. The passenger side, oh, it's locked. Hang on. All right, let's try this again. The passenger side seat in the front here is super, super loose and wobbly. Look at this. Look this. Super loose and wobbly. Whenever I drive, it squeaks like crazy and makes me, it drives me insane. Absolutely insane. So we're gonna pull this out and see what the issue is. If you guys remember when my car actually got here for being shipped from Florida, they had broken the driver's seat on the rail somehow, and this seat was also removed for some reason. I don't know. It is not how it used to be. It never used to squeak before, but now this seat just like falls all over the place and very, very loose and it squeaks and I just cannot stand it any longer. So I think I may have found my issue here. So if you look down here. See that? That is the slide to my seat, which is completely out of the rail. I don't know why it's like that or how that happened. I only assume when they pull my seats out, they did something and they didn't put it back properly, but it's also bent right here, which it wasn't before. <sighs> well, hopefully I was... So we're gonna pull the seat back out. I'm gonna go ahead and bend this arm further out so it reaches. I don't even know what happened and why it's not fitting anymore, but that's uh, not what that's supposed to be. Pull this seat out. That's my uh, my harness bars back there. I have to fold the seat forward like this, otherwise it won't go back far enough to actually maneuver its way out. All right. Out she goes. So the game plan here is just to simply bend this arm further back out so it reaches the rail again. I'm not sure how it got bent in so far, but should be an easy little fix. With a little bit of hammer and persuasion, I've got the arm bent back out a little bit. That way now it should match both rails and have no more uh, shaker play in it. Okay, so that actually took a little bit longer than I was originally anticipating, but we got it now. I actually cut this piece off the front side. Uh, these are Mark II Recaros out of a 1991 GTI, I wanna say they were when I got them. They were that blue velour color, kinda cool, but now they're black leather. Um, but I had to modify the bases to be wider to fit these rails for the Mark III. I think the Mark IIs are like 21 wide and the Mark III is like 23. There's a small difference, but you had to widen it a little bit to make it fit. And we did that and then somehow in shipping, they broke like both my seats and it was super like bent and messed up. So I cut that piece off just now, re-bend the arms out and now, check this out. Everything's nice and in and 
Listen. See that? Nice and tight, not going nowhere. I have to run to the post office real quick and pick up a package, um, but it's a perfect time to test this car real quick and make sure that seat's not squeaking any longer because it was driving me insane. But I'm hoping I can pull this car out of the driveway without having to put all these cars away. I think I can just put this one flat to the side and maybe make it through this gap right here. It's doable, I think. So this car actually started second try today when I was filming that beginning intro. Let's see if it still starts now. So I turned it off earlier, I turned it right back on. She's been sitting for about an hour or so now, so we'll see if she, uh... Nope, give it a second. There she is, she's fine. She's fine. Okay, Savoy has been moved to the side. That should be more than enough for him to come out and back back in. Yeah, she's fine. I wonder how many cars we could actually fit in this driveway. What do you guys think? It starts way up here. How many do you guys think? I mean, if we just did two wide, that we could do two, four, mm, six, and then one like sideways in front of the barn, seven. If I cram these cars on this side in more, if I put the bore all the way back, seven, eight, maybe not, maybe nine total? Nine, you think? Yeah. About nine, I would say. Not including like the barn and stuff, just in the driveway itself. I think we can fit maybe nine, maybe 10 if we really tried. All right, please don't have a squeaky seat any longer. I don't want to deal with it. It's very frustrating. I don't like it. <laughs> All right, so since my car has no AC or heat, my windows are fogged up right now, but I have an idea. Uh-oh, I hear the sound of another VR6. There she is. The last car of the fleet. The four-door UK spec R32. Now all the cars are here. What do you think? I like it. Yeah. So what I got going on over here, I have my portable heater plugged in inside the car, warming it up. Should be enough just to warm the car up on the inside, defog the windows, let me drive for a little while. As long as I don't open the windows or open the doors too much, it should be good to go. All right, heater has done its job. Let's do this fast. Pull this out. Down. And we're ready. Easy as that. Is it warm in here? Ooh, it's nice and toasty in here. So much better than normal. <laughs> Usually I can see my breath in this car, which is not good. So now, much nicer. So I just did a quick lap without Casey in the car. I'm pleased to report the seat no longer squeaks. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, my heating method did not work and the windows fucked up a little bit. So now uh, windows are down, it's kind of cold, but we can still see, kind of. I gotta fix this thing, uh, heater core, I gotta fix that. I decided to put Miley over here and I'm gonna put the Savoy in the back side for now just for a little change but listen how loud this car is when it's echoing right against this wall it sounds so good we need a few revs just a couple nothing too crazy maybe it's so much louder <laughs> Okay, we're done. No, no flames, no, uh, no fireballs tonight, but just a few, one more. Jeez, and I'm barely.
barely tapping it. If I just pin it, it'll pop and shoot flames like crazy, but we don't want the neighbors calling the police for, uh, for gunshots tonight. That'd be no good. So I decided to put the wagon on this side now. I'm gonna put the Savoy over there tonight. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this car here. It's just easier to pull in and out of this versus backing up over that dip and always dragging in the exhaust and the mud flaps is just kind of annoying. So this is much easier for me and Casey's usually always gone. So to pull the car in and out, it's much, much easier. I think though, in the long run, I'm gonna put Miley, I mean, Tony's car is only, the GLI is only in there until April and he's gone and I have two free spots for there. But I think Miley will go to this side over here by herself. The Savoy will go back over here, and then the Arthur can be here. Or if I put both markers over there, I haven't quite decided yet. But for right now, Miley can stay there. The Savoy will go over there for tonight, and then the wagon probably will stay permanent right there. All the cars, nice and tucked away. Man, I love these wheels. They look so good. Cars over here. Last one coming in now. Just a... Happy barn full of Volkswagens. Everyone is all nice and tucked away. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions on any of the cars that are here at the house, leave a comment on this video and I'll try and go through and answer all those ones for you guys. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.